Hey, Julie, Jeff, Seacrest here from the Jones dealership. We had talked a little bit earlier today about this particular Yukon, this XL, the SLT trim level, and I just wanted to point out a couple things on it here to you. That way you can see everything that's going on, and uh, I hope to be able to answer your questions about what the SLT entails. So, as you can see, this particular one here has the nice aluminum wheels. That's a 20-inch polished aluminum, easier to maintain than the chrome wheel, but still offers a nicer finish than what the standard wheel has. Um, so, of course, as you can see, like I said, this being a certified vehicle, excellent tire tread on it. Um, because this is the SLT, that and the Denali's all come with the running board built right in. You'll also notice these little buttons on the doors, both on the rear door and on the front door as well. That's because this has the easy key passive entry system. So one push of the button uh, on the door, as long as the key fob is in your pocket or person and you can get in, if the key's in your, like my wife keeps her keys in her purse, you don't have to fish them out or dig them out. As long as you walk up to the car, push that button, it'll unlock, you can hop in, and then you can push the button inside to start the vehicle up. So as long as the key fob is with you, you are good to go. Now you will notice, this being the SLT, it has the chrome accenting on the grill. It has the fog lights, which are standard on the SLT. And then it also has the HID headlights. Now you'll notice, um, at least when you go to put the car in gear, right around here is where the LED daytime running lights are. So the LEDs are nice because they're more cost effective, they're brighter, and they last longer than a standard halogen bulb. And you'll even notice that in the uh, light bulbs that we have for the actual headlights, they have a projector beam housing. It's going to keep all of the light focused on the road, so that way you're not losing anything off to the sides and the, uh, the side of the road where it doesn't do you any good. So you'll also notice that this has the parking sensors, not only in the rear, but in the front as well. So if you're pulling up too close to something, you can be aware of that as well. So let me start by showing you the back here, um, because it's important to note how much size and how much space you're getting in the Yukon XL. So power lift gate, touch of a button, it opens right up. You can do that from the key fob, a button inside the vehicle, or back at the lift gate itself. Now once we're looking at the back here, you can see a lot of nice room in the rear with the third row of seats still up and there you can even see it's got the dvd player like i mentioned uh, but you also have power controls for the seat here so at the push of a button we can actually fold those seats down and then at the push of a button fold those same seats back up so everything is easy to operate and right at your fingertips the other set of buttons here actually does the second row seats as well and when we come around you'll see that one of them is already tipped down that way you can maximize your storage space on the inside of it so as you can see one seat up one seat down and then bringing it back into the upright position is just a very simple hand operation um, like I mentioned because of this having the rear seat entertainment you have all the controls on the back here for the radio you have not only your nice 12 volt outlet uh, but you're also going to have the three prong home style outlet and there is an adapter there for hooking up any other type of interface into the screen itself you'll also notice this has the climate controls at the back um, it is a tri-zone climate control vehicle driver has their own climate control settings passenger has their own climate control settings and then the rear seat second and third row passengers have their own climate control settings you can see there's actually vents up top as well as down below underneath the rear seats so it allows you to have comfort for not only the driver but the passengers as well and one thing i always like to point out that's pretty neat the second row actually has heated seats so and not just one setting as you can see by those lights that is high then medium then low then off and that's for both of the second row seats here comes in really really handy now as i mentioned on our phone call earlier the front seats are heated as well but they are also air cooled so if you know it's got the perforated leather seats and when we hop on in here you'll see that it not only has the heated seat control 
And in this, for the front seat, it's a little bit more advanced than the second row seat. You can heat the back or the back and the bottom, same three levels of intensity. And then you also have the air-cooled seats as well with three levels of intensity. You have that for the driver as well as for the passenger. So, and then you have your climate controls and you can even override the rear climate controls if you have small children back there and want to control the temperature for them. So, of course, with this being the Yukon, nice big center console and really neat to point out this top part of the lid here does wireless charging for cell phones. So it's completely built right in. Nice big storage space down there. As you can see, it's a very clean vehicle, very well kept after. Like I mentioned, this was, I personally sold this vehicle brand new to the family that leased it very very nice family this is probably the third or fourth vehicle that they bought from us here at the dealership they always come here for service they always maintain their vehicles really well it's just the lease was up so as many do at the end of the lease and turn the keys in and on to the next vehicle now we talked a little bit earlier about some of the sturdiness and some of the fortification this vehicle has and i did mention that it does have the four-wheel drive like i said right there is the controls for it unlike a all-wheel drive suv you are in control and can set it up for two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive or you can actually set it in the auto setting so that way the system can make it behave a little bit more like an all-wheel drive would so, and then the steering wheel itself, if I can back up here enough for you to see, is power not just for um, the tilt, but also for telescopic as well. So I can move this, the steering wheel up or down, and then in or out. That way you can really dial it in exactly how you like. It's also key to point out that the memory seats not only remember where you like your seats and outside mirrors, but it remembers where you like your steering wheel as well, which is really handy. So nice big display like i said uh, we, or what we talked about earlier only has 36,000 miles on it you still get that great gm certification of the warranty um, a lot of great features as you can see the navigation system is on and does work on this vehicle here and it does have a couple of the nicer features as well like having this little button right here is the heated steering wheel now in my opinion it looks like a steering wheel with a little piece of bacon in front of it but that is heat waves heated steering wheel so in the winter time not only can you heat your seats you can heat your steering wheel the button above that is forward collision alert there's a little camera that's actually housed up here in this little black box that camera watches the vehicles in front of you and lets you know if any of them are coming up or if you're coming up on any of them at too high of a rate of speed, that way you can adjust that. Now there is some adjustment to this, that way you can dial in how sensitive you want it or how sensitive you don't want it. Um, and that same system also does the lane departure warning. So it'll let you know that same camera watches for painted lines on the road. And if there are painted lines and you are crossing over them without using your turn signal, it can let you know that. Once again, those are all systems that can be turned on or off, uh, and some of them do even have the um, adjustability to dial in how sensitive or aggressive you want them to be. So just one thing I wanted to point out yet that you can see for yourself, if you look on the mirror in that corner there is the little symbol of a car with kind of like a little star next to it. That is the side blind zone alert. So as you're driving down the road, if you go to change lanes or make a turn and you go to check your mirror, if that is lit up amber, that means that there's a car in your blind spot. These sensors are able to look because of the way that the size of the vehicle is and the way that the mirrors are angled. Any car has blind spots of some sort. So this one has sensors in the blind spot on not only the driver's side, but also the passenger side as well. That way you can make sure that you are safe to make any maneuvers on the road or highway. And of course, for ease of parking or going through the car wash, the mirrors turn in at the push of a button and turn right back out again as well. So there's a lot of really neat things that I wanna show you on this vehicle. I know it seems like I've covered a lot here, but there is so much more to talk about on this. From the sunroof to the TPC spec tires, to the fact that it has the garage door opener controls built right into it. It is a lot going on in here. Um, and I'd love for, if you're able to this evening, come out and take a look at it. If not, no big deal. We'll schedule another time where it works for you to get you out here, see the vehicle for yourself, make sure it's the car you wanna own, and then my job's simple, make it affordable for you. 
But yeah, we'll take a look at your trade and put everything together for you. So I'm going to send this to you in an email as well as our contact information, my contact information and directions here at the dealership. And I look forward to hearing from you and being of assistance in any way that I can. Thanks again. And I look forward to hearing from you soon, Julie. Have a good one. Bye.